Sunday's pomp and ceremony in Vienna is all about enhancing cooperation and research in space between China and the rest of the world. Now, Chinese officials um, and the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs will officially kick off practical efforts to help develop joint space capabilities. Going into space, as we all know, is really, really expensive. We saw the U.S. President Donald Trump really applaud uh, Elon Musk's SpaceX a successful launch back in February. And that also drew praise from both NASA and the U.S. military. And the tech billionaire Elon Musk's reusable Falcon rockets have really been a game changer. They basically, or we could say, they're going to help bring down the cost of going into space, possibly. And it's already made the market more competitive and we're seeing the opening up of the market for the private sector. And what all of this really means is that we're going to see more and more private companies coming onto the scene, even in China. Now, earlier on this year, the UN Space Agency and China Man Space Agency signed an agreement that's going to really allow not only UN member states, but also developing countries to conduct space experiments on board China's new space station. And that's set for completion in 2022. So any country that really wants to take part needs to be signed up by the end of 2019. So just to give a little bit of background, back in 1992, China began its space program. The new station will, of course, be China's third generation Chinese space station. And it's been designed to support a three-man crew to live and work on board continuously. And it's going to serve as a conduit for scientific research and also to send a manned mission to Mars. But possibly one of the big ambitions, China also wants to use it as a platform to explore long duration life support. So if you're a bit of a geek or wonder if one day we could all live in space, well, watch this space. No pun intended. Mariam Zaidi, CGTN, Vienna.